hello family and welcome to kami ideas if you are new to this channel i say you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber i say god richly bless you and in today's video i want to discuss something very interesting with you um most of you do ask uh, which nursing course is the best which one should i go for and you want to really know which one is good right and i've made so many videos trying to tell you that every nursing course is just important as your interest okay if you don't have interest in something it will not be appealing to you so today i want to discuss with you about general nursing i'm a registered general nurse and then i want to tell you some of the reasons some of the benefits of becoming a general nurse okay and disclaimer this video is not to discredit other uh programs okay like midway free psychiatry nursing community nursing and the rest i'm j i just want to tell you a bit more about what i do because i'm a registered general nurse and i know much 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 about my general nursing and the benefit i stand to gain as a general nurse so i just want to share with you to uh help you or boost your appetite to go for general nursing so i know I pray that by the end of this video, someone will have interest in registered general nursing. Okay. <laughs> so in terms of career development, as a registered general nurse, you are open to so many opportunities. And that's not to say that other courses are not opportunities, but general nursing has more opportunities as it stands now in my knowledge and what I've known and what I've heard. We have so many opportunities, okay? You can branch, you can switch to any program of your choice. You have several, several opportunities. I'm not comparing with any other program. I'm just talking for general nursing. So if you're a general nurse, you have opportunity for several things and which some of which I will not be disclosing to you today. As time goes on, I will tell you what are some of these things, okay? But for today, I just want to tell you that you are having, you are open to several opportunities in terms of uh, specializing in a program. If you're a general nurse, you are picked faster, okay? So that's one of the benefits of becoming a general nurse. You have more opportunities, let me put it that way. So the second reason why I would like you to go and offer general nursing is, it's like, it's nice, it's guy. Okay, let me put it that way. General nursing is guy. Like, if you offer general nursing, you have basically knowledge in almost every aspect of nursing. You have a bit of knowledge in everything. Like, you learn, just like the word general, you learn a bit about this, a bit about that, a bit about that. You can function, like, everywhere. You are viable, all right? Like, in every area. You are productive in every, if you send you to this particular field, you are good. For instance, um, when we were posted newly, I was taken to a unitar intensive care unit. That's NICU. And for the whole year I spent in NICU has not been for nothing. I've really learned so much, so much, okay? And there's nothing interesting like to be confident in what you do because you know you have a knowledge, a bit of knowledge in this, 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 that. And you are confident if you are good at doing something, okay? And so I would say I didn't take it for granted. And I'm a registered general nurse, but I was working as a UNITA nurse for the period of one year. And it has not been for nothing. I've really gained. I don't want to say in terms of hospital, you can work in every area. You can work as a midwife. You can work as a psychiatry nurse. You can work as a community nurse. You can work as an ophthalmic nurse. You can work at like every aspect of nursing. When they put you there, you can function without any difficulty that's general nursing for you imagine you're in the house you have knowledge in uh, child care knowledge in mothers knowledge in this knowledge in that it makes it boosts your confidence level okay for instance um when we were posted newly i was taken to a unitar intensive care unit that's NICU. and for the whole year i spent in NICU has not been for nothing i've really learned so much so much okay and there's nothing interesting like to be confident in what you do because you know you have a knowledge a bit of knowledge and this 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 that and you are confident if you are good at doing something okay and so i would say i didn't take it for granted and i'm a registered general nurse but i was working as a unitar nurse 
for the period of one year and it has not been for nothing i've really gained so as a registered journal nurse you can work in every unit okay like you can work in every area i don't want to say in terms of hospital you can work in every area you can work as a midwife you can work as a secretary nurse you can work as a community nurse you can work as an optimist nurse you can work at like every aspect of nursing when they put you there you can function without any difficulty that's general nursing for you so the last thing i want to say is in terms of studies when you go to nursing school to pursue general nursing right you learn holistically and when i say holistically i mean w-h o-l-e not the h-o-l-y okay you learn everything nursing that's you learn you study as a midwife study as a community nurse study as a psychiatry nurse study as every aspect of like every program in nursing as a registered general nurse you study it so our teachers will always tell you that as a registered general nursing student when you are in school or while you are still in school you don't you are not classified until you come out of school to for your certificate to indicate that you you are a registered general nurse because when you are in school you learn every aspect of nursing that's why you the word goes general nursing you are not being specific okay so medic, med, uh, medical surgical nursing obstetrics and gynecology and all these things we study as a registered general nurse and you study it deep 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 the only difference is that when you are out of school and because of where you are placed you are in general wars you tend not to have much interest in like trying to research or learn more about the midwifery aspect community nursing aspect psychiatry nursing aspects but if they put a general nursing in those units for a period of time, you become very, very good. Of course, because you have the basics, you have some knowledge of um, this in every, in almost those aspects of nursing. Okay, you have knowledge in these aspects of nursing. So when you are put there to function or to improvise as any, any time, as a psychiatry nurse, as a midwife, as a community nurse you can function very very well so that's another important and interesting thing about nursing general nursing so this is what i want to share with you that if you are confused uh, if they've told you that ne general nursing is not difficult they are lying to you it's a lie even though anyone tells you that general nursing is not anything just like it's very very interesting to be a general nurse. so don't be confused today if you're confused as to what course to do um and you don't know what where to go and what to do or what to choose i put it to you to choose registered general nurse okay it's so interesting so this is what i want to share with you today okay keep supporting the channel and send your questions and we'll respond to them appropriately so thank you stay blessed and see you in the next video bye